All right, that, that, that was my first time launching a boat, let alone solo. <laughs> and it was a little busier than I thought, so I, I came to a lake near my house because it's a day during the week, it's a lake, I'm hoping it would be slower, but I was still in line. There was like four or five boats ahead of me. But uh, I just thought it'd be best to do my first maiden voyage, a first few solo trips in a lake to practice without like tides and currents and stuff like that. Just so I can get a feel for how everything performs and then like, and then we'll take it out in the bay and some saltwater creeks and rivers and stuff like that. Shit, it, I'm excited to get to learn this thing and like really figure it out. But yeah guys, this is my first boat. This is the Mako Pro Skiff 17 foot. It's a 2019. And so it's, it's used, but it's new to me. It's in really good shape. I tested out my buddy's Brent's. His is a 2022, but uh, it's a pretty similar model. And uh, it's got a nice big front hatch. But I'm gonna get out here away from some people so I can get some tackle ready. I didn't uh, get the tackle ready last night because I was just really busy with work. But once I get away from all these people, I'll get everything set up and just get a feel for the boat, play with the electronics, just check everything out. All right, guys, we are out here on the water and we're doing some old school fishing today since we're out on the lake on fresh water. I haven't done this in years and it's always a blast. I just got a simple bob bobber set up with a number one J hook and a little split shot to keep the minnow down. I got two dozen minnows and a dozen shiners. And we're gonna pull up to some structure. It's uh, It's been kind of cold, like 50 degrees. So they're probably gonna be up in the shallower water and structure. I'm going for bass, crappie, uh, sometimes you'll catch like random catfish on these minnows and shiners and stuff, but should be a good time. I'd like to get on some crappie to keep for a nice dinner tonight maybe, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I ended up coming out to the bay because it's like super calm right now. And uh, I didn't catch anything in the lake when I was practicing, uh, you know, just getting out in the water and loading and launching the boat, so... We're out here doing some saltwater fishing. And so the first day, I just kind of cruised around, got used to controlling everything, get used to the live wells and the, uh, ooh, big bonnet head right there. Live wells and the uh, trolling motor, stuff like that. There we go. Little baby sheep. <laughs> All right, it's something. See you later, dude. There we go. Another little one. <laughs> All right, they're small. Let's let's head over to the bridge. Since they're starting to bite now, see if we can get on some bigger ones. You gotta be careful with these little ones because their spikes are like extra spiky.
There we go. There's a sheep. Alright. Hey, it's bigger than the other side. He's almost a keeper. Sealer, dude. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Little sheep there. I don't think that's 12 inches. All right, calm down, dude. He is ten and a half. There we go. Hey, we might have a keeper. Calm down, buddy. Ooh, close. He's 11 and a half. All right, see you later, dude. Check that out. Fat Belly Fishing. Shout out to Logan, Fat Belly Fishing. Shout out to Joshua, as he's a subscriber to me and Fat Belly Fishing uh, because he sold me the boat. And so uh, I appreciate it. It's been really nice so far. I have a lot of fun on it. This is my second time out. So the first time, like I said, I was practicing on the Freshwater Lake. And then today I went into some deeper areas because I still want to get used to getting into shallow areas and stuff like that. But we got on a couple of puffers in the beginning and then just a bunch of little sheep's head. Couldn't find any keepers, but it's a whole lot of fun. I'm excited to get some really good content filmed on this boat, go on some more adventures. I see a lot of good videos in the future. If you're not subscribed, definitely think about subscribing. If you like this video, hit the like button and I will see you guys next week.